Professor Urbis White. We just finished our annual mousetrap car competition with Applied Science and Engineering Club here at Irvine Valley College. We are the awesomest club on campus. We have a lot of members who are interested in Applied Science and Engineering. These are the future engineers and scientists of America. I am very, very proud of these kids and we just finished it and we had about 120 feet with their mouse traps. This is all their original designs and they did an awesome job. Please come and join our club and we do catapults, mouse traps, we do um, embedded programming, we do beam designs, all sorts of fun activities and you just learn and the most importantly, you just have lots of fun. My name is Corey. This is Jian. Um, our theme that we chose for our mousetrap racer is uh, Speed Racer, as you can see. We chose that because such a classic cartoon show deserves to be represented in this competition. The criteria is very simple. You start with a mousetrap, and basically that's just the reservoir of energy that you use to make whatever you have going. And past that, we are allowed to uh, basically add whatever we want. Just the only conditions are whatever we add can't be supplying extra energy to the actual car. So the only initial energy is from the spring-loaded mousetrap, then everything else is just kind of up to us. There's another car that someone else made that's much like ours, except the difference is our mousetrap uh, falls off it, and so that reduces a lot of the friction, which is basically the, the main thing that's keeping these cars from going. At one point, it, uh, it was going and it smacked right into the side of the bleachers and it, and it stopped and then it started going again and then it just kept going and it kept going and it kept going and it, and it hit the wall, so. We had some problems. Our body broke. It was originally out of styrofoam, which was really light, and then it snapped. We had traction control, but once we had the new body, there was no way to replace it once it broke, so we have a cool pirate on it, so it's cute. <laughs> Uh, we used two vinyl discs on the side, they're Led Zeppelin's Swan Song, and then we used um, a mousetrap in the very center with the axle going across the two wheels. And we have a metal weight that we attach to the back of the mousetrap so that it does not flop over the axle. Um, I know that we are one of the three teams who got the farthest uh, straight distance and now we're trying for a diagonal across the gym. And we have here is our entry, the Back to the Past um, mousetrap cart. So basically, it's, um, it has the idea of uh, Back to the Future for the title, and uh, we turned it into the past, which, which translates to our wagon style mousetrap cart. And what our wagon style mousetrap cart has for um, originality would be it has the triangular shape for an additional angle and the pulley system, which we did um, similarly last year for our entry. And we just improved it since last year we had two mousetrap cars, now it was restricted to one. We, t we used the angle to compensate for that. I came here as a uh, student of my teacher, Mrs. White. Uh, I was judging the distance that the mousetrap cars went. So it was really interesting. We had three uh, teams that went the full distance, um, and they actually hit the walls in the back, so we had to uh, extend the track and see which one would go further. Right now, the tie for first place is between Ghost Rider, Beater Speeder, and Back to the Past. I attended Northwood High School for four years and then came to uh, Irvine Valley College and I, I didn't know this until I got here today, but there's actually a team from Northwood High School. Um, they're represented, so as the, as the distance judge, it's been hard for me not to adjust their scores a little bit. Do you want to have pizza? 
hitting each other. Drag race. Drag race. Drag race. You can do drag race if you want, oh. but I'm doing heavy pizza. So the Mousetrap car competition is based on a basic kit that we purchased. It's around $9 kit. And they decided they would like to add whatever that they want to add to the design. And so we had records, um, bigger CDs, all sorts of Teflon to overcome friction. And we had actually three or four different designs, very different from each other, go the distance of 120 feet. So it was very exciting to see. For the first time, we had Northwood High School. Uh, high school kids contacted us and they want to be part of this competition. Hopefully we'll get more high schoolers to join us next year.